welcome back to part 3 of the uh, snowplow and as you can see it can serve many use <laughs> yes. other than uh, snow and that proves that uh, maybe we did it right <laughs> yeah, 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 you. <laughs> so it will be Dave spoof yes it is <laughs> I have been tested <laughs> yeah. you might have seen that I got a comment from uh, Dale Atkins uh, the guy asked me um, why didn't we put any spring oh, yes. relief yeah. on that and that's a good question actually uh, thanks for asking that, asking that question okay uh, when you have a pickup truck or let's say an ATV and you put a plow on it you rely on uh, especially ATV you don't have that much uh, strong frame or at least a uh, lot of arms like this so you have to have something that will give way. On a tractor, obviously, if you use a dirt plow, uh, if you use a dirt uh, bucket, you don't have any tipping spring or something like that. And using that tractor, most likely you won't exceed 20 kilometers per hour. <laughs> no, eh? not even. <laughs> but with an ATV you can. and a pickup truck, you can. Yes, most of the time with a pickup truck is when you uh, remove snow in the parking lot and the driveway and such uh, places where you have a uh, concrete, you have sidewalk, yes. you have steps, you have uh, hard steps, you have hard stops. Yes. So that's why you have to have a spring on it. So on a, on a tractor it's not uh, so much useful, it could be used. On the Bolands I have it, and the reason is bad that because my the frame is a little bit uh, flimsier, let's say so, if we can say so. And also, the uh, pivot point of the blade is in the line with the base of the blow almost. On this one, you have the pivot at the top, so if you hit something, you still have some uh, movement of the load arm. So that's why we don't use a, a spring on that blow. But yet, we made it a little bit stronger than uh, necessary, just in case. <laughs> yes. So, we let you watch this uh, part 3 and you will see uh, how it comes. Yes. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs> That's home. Okay, from this, we made this, which is uh, cuts like this, so that we can make them. Uh, we're going to try what can be done. Looks like we have a <laughs> good curve there. I'm going to reverse that. Oops. Shoot, that doesn't want to end much. Anyways, we've got enough bend. Sometimes if you don't make the cut very straight, it goes like here. Yeah. You need the persuader to. Hmm. I still have a gap. The, uh, uh, so it did end almost in the cut. this okay are we ready to weld up yes
supposed to be used but uh, in the mountain we're going to have snow from November to April so uh, it's going to work in snow most of the time so you can make it a long time before you can wear that uh, uh, bottom blade. We've added some uh, gussets here to make sure that the bottom will not bend and after that and then by the way we did the full weld and we're having those uh, wings uh, let's say so, that will support the uh, sides. So basically this will be uh, more like a snow pusher than a, than a blade that can angle. It will not angle, it will just have the, uh, the side. So uh, because um, Dave and I have long driveways, <laughs> so it will be uh, possible to think that we can angle the blade and push the snow on the side. You can do that once. And the second time, the, 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 the path or the driveway gets narrower. And the third time, you're just done. So, the idea is to push the snow at the very end of the uh, driveway. Because uh, in the middle of the driveway, you don't have that much uh, place to push the snow on the left or, uh, or, the, or the right. Otherwise, you use the snow blower. But yet, when you have slush or something like that, there's nothing like a good old flow to push that away from the uh, drive door. So we're going to weld this and after that we're going to move on to the wings on the sides uh, that will uh, serve as a, a death goal gauge and to retain the snow. You will see that.
Oui. <laughs> when you have a Chinese press grill, you can do that any time. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 